Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to our second attempt at Becastled the Demo. Version 2.0 is out now, and I highly encourage you picking this one up, or at least trying out the demo, where we're going to be building a defense around a castle, again, in the style of Foundation and in the style of uh, Stronghold with some other game elements into it. It really feels like a time attack mode and a really cool castle builder where you're constantly under attack. Well, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you attack that like button. Welcome again to all the new subs. You guys are amazing, so thanks as always for being here. And thank you very much for the support. We're going to give another new game a try here. We'll skip the tutorial if there is any that pops up. And we're going to try to be successful in yet another defense in the castle. Now, I haven't yet successfully beaten the demo, which requires us to get through all the days. But we're going to go ahead and skip the tutorial here. And we'll get started with uh, mining and doing other things that we got to do ASAP. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started by putting our castle down and building our wonderful kingdom. Here we go. All right, what do we got next? Let's see. Houses probably would be a good idea. Get that population rocking ASAP. All right. Place a couple of houses down here on this side. Right, so this game, as I mentioned before, uh, is actually going to come out in February. I may have said that it comes out in December in a few days, but it's actually been moved around to February of next year. And with good reason, there seems to still be a few things that need to be added to this game, but what's here already is a really well-detailed game. All right, where's the first enemy attack coming in from? Ah, the north. Wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got for wolves around us. We got wolves in the east and west. Nothing to the north. Oh, boy. We better get some trees going right away, then. Build ourselves a sawmill to start. Where can we put that where it doesn't destroy too many trees? Ah, we'll put it there. A good start. We'll get a couple of people on that right away. Okay, what does a lumber mill do anyway? Does it make more wood? Let's see. Lumber mill. Alright, let's get our sawmill going. Where's the lumber mill? I swear I saw one somewhere. Anyway, let's go ahead and also try to start building military buildings as soon as possible. But that means we got to capture some more land, so let's do this. Capture these two to start. And we'll start building a wall ASAP as well. That'll be a good spot for it. Oh, that's going to remove a lot of trees. So let's give the uh, sawmill a little bit of time to work. Uh, let's see. Let's probably put another one down. Another one. The DJ Collin Memorial Sawmill facilities are going up. All right. Hey, glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section if you haven't already. And again, thanks guys for subbing and hanging out with me and just being awesome. This game's kind of cool. I thought it would be more like a prolonged builder, like, for example, a foundation where you're constantly working on a kingdom. But it seems like we could do one of these each episode and just restart each time and see kind of how things go for us. As it is kind of more of a faster time attack mode. And I kind of, this is the first time I've really seen a game like that, and I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. All right, let's hire some more people to work at the sawmill. We got some extra lazy bones sitting around. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a sunstone workshop. This will make us money for building our army. Now, since we have the demo, I also want to know, have you played this game yet in the demo? Or if you've pre-ordered it already? I'm just curious to know, because I really want to get this game when it uh, comes out fully and see if there's other game modes, too. All right, we've got three minutes until nighttime. When nighttime comes, the enemy forces will arrive and attack us. We've got a lot of deer here, which means we can start making food. It's kind of hard to do everything within the first day, but we can try uh, to get as close as possible to getting everything done. All right, we'll build a wall around the kingdom here as soon as a few more of those trees are removed. So it looks like it's going to be 225 per each wall on that side, 150. So we'll need about 300. Actually, uh, how many sides are to this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll have to, in order to in, in, uh, in keep, in, in, encase our keep, yeah, I guess that's a, the word. This is actually kind of good. There's a lot of room there for us to put military buildings. It's going to take us a minute or two, but I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's get people working at the Sunstone Workshop. And I think we need to keep one short for the hunter's hut, too. All right, we're maxed out on workers. Let's go for more homes. Some more hooses, bud. Let's build houses all around the uh, all around the castle. There we go. Another house there and another one here. Now, we can also upgrade these houses when we get to stone. Unfortunately, it looks like stone's pretty far away from our starting location which was right over 
Uh, oh, I thought I saw a stone a second ago, didn't I? Oh yeah, right here. So we'll have to kind of buy two more territories there, 120 plus whatever that other section is. But we'll see, happiness is up, that's good. I don't know how I did that. Resident spawn race is increased, I don't know why. Okay. Whoa, sir. Wow, he barely escaped. What? What the? <laughs> sir, you okay? Wow, he like died in our territory. Ooh, don't go over there. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. Oh, man. Okay, we got we to gotta get our people to not walk over there. Oh, no, now they died. That sets back production a bit. It'd be kind of cool if you could tell them to gather trees from there. They were trying to log up here. Darn wolves. All right, we still got a little bit of time. One minute. Oh, well, it's all right. New people will spawn and build houses. That'll up our population limit a bit. All right. Let's go for a military building now. We'll go for a basic barracks. Let's see if we can build that inside the town. I'm going to try to squeeze it. Squeeze it in somewhere. Maybe right there. There we go. All right, the first night, I don't think we're going to need to... Um, I don't think we're going to need anybody uh, here on the military. we got 24 seconds, so I don't think we'll need reinforcements. We should be able to survive the first night in Be Castled. We should be okay. Just need to get that barracks built, though. 14 seconds. Get more food going. All right, let's see. Any fertile lands nearby? Or farming? I guess not. Oh, we could build back here. Take advantage of that. All right, here comes the enemy army. Trying to spread them out a little bit. Beautiful. Get wrecked, nerd. All right. Day one's invasion is over. Very easy, day one. Very easy. All right, everyone's returning to work. Great. Okay, let's see. Well, we need to make our way immediately towards that quarry, so I guess we'll buy the lands around the wolves. We'll also let our sawmill do some work down there. Because we're going to need more resources to buy more territory, so let's buy that, and another hunting hut, and we need more workers. I'm not exactly sure how the happiness works, it's like we were at plus three, now we're at negative one. I think it has to do with the population, but I don't know how to affect it really. Build another house here. There we go. All right, let's get people working at the sawmill. And we'll be able to buy more lands over here. There we go. All right, let's build ourselves a stone quarry. That's going to be very important to build a church and other things in the future. That'll help us out. All right, we got to get an army going, too. Let's get six troops trained up. Food is dwindling, so hopefully we have enough for a hunter's hut soon. I guess food kind of only gives us a bonus for our people's happiness. So it's not like people will die if we don't have food. But we got to be focused on military training so far. Where's the next invasion come? Ah, down south. Which is good. We might be able to lure them through wolves' lands when they go to attack. Okay, it's... About time we start walling off our town. There we go. We'll start with those areas first, and then we'll add more to the other sides. There we go. All right, troops are in training. That's great. Looks like the stone quarry is ready to go. 
We have no extra troops to hire at the moment. Due, due to mood being a little lower. Actually, it's mostly because when people get recruited, they go straight to the barracks. And that's kind of a good thing. Alright, hopefully we have room for well soon. That would get people's happiness up too. Alright, let's get our army assembled. Wave 2 coming in three minutes. More workers being trained. Get people off the lumber mills. We're also not going to be able to build the uh, walls here until we've got um, a few more uh, free workers to do it. We'll keep that area open there. There we go, workers are free. All right, more wolves there. Yeah, the wolves we can use for our advantage. What we can do is try to lure the enemy army into this territory. And though they might destroy a sawmill or a, a hunter's hut, we might be able to use that to our advantage. All right. More walls going up. Good job, folks. Should build a sawmill up here permanently. Outside of the walls. But we can free that space up for homes. There we go. Okay, one more wall to build, but we'll save that until we can build both the wall and the gate. That'll take a little bit of time. Two minutes, six seconds. Let's see if we've got all of our troops assembled. Everybody else should be free to work a job. So let's go gather some stone right away. And we'll start working the sawmill in the north. So essentially we want sawmills to be wherever the trees will regrow each day. They grow throughout the day, but slower than after nighttime. After the nighttime battles, all the trees regrow. And then we're able to uh, basically cut them down again. Let's go for another six to defend our lands. So I think after this, we're going to move our sawmills outside. Would be a much better plan, I'd say. There we go. And save us a little bit of room. Good. Very good. All right, let's build a wall. All right. And should be able to build a gate there. Must be the tree in the way. Or a building could be too close by, but I think it has to do with the tree. Ah, it's the building there that's too close. All right, we'll build a gate there. A little bit of longer walk. But that's okay. People have to return to their buildings, not to the kingdom, in order to uh, give supply. All right, food is low, but it is the end of the day, so we'll take care of that tomorrow morning. Wow, we were able to produce, like, five more troops. I think. All right, line up, boys. This will be a little bit more of a battle. All right. There we go. Good. Glory to Raptoria, get him, boys. Good job. Minimal losses. Fantastic. 
All right, the attack coming from the western side today. And everybody going back to work. It's almost uh, the, the wolves are too valuable to get rid of since they can cut down the enemy's army pretty quickly. All right, we need to get more people on food production. Wow, we have a thousand wood. Let's change some people to gathering food for us. That should change that in a minute. All right, let's see if we can build a church, which should increase happiness. Let's see. And actually, we'll respawn our inventory. That's what we wanted to do. There we go. Let's build a well over here. All right, good. So we're building the church. That should respawn our troops. And then the well should give us uh, happiness, I think. And then it's time to start working on these little thingies. The marketplaces. Nice. All right, more troops coming in. Defenses are going to have to be much bigger today. All right, the church is almost done. Let's make sure everything's got employees. All right, good. And the enemy will have to come through the wolf den. Fantastic. All right, the kingdom's looking nice. Now oh, we can put somebody to work in the church. Oh, we can resurrect troops. Beautiful. So we get our troops back. All right, let's build some more houses. No, let's upgrade some houses. Fantastic. All right, so now we can have up to 15 people in the city. Well, would you look at that? We have a troop back. Excellent. Glory to Raptoria and our Necromancer army. The army of the undead is now within our positions. Fantastic. Well, that's great. As long as we survive the waves. Double resurrection. Okay. What can we do next? Well, we still got to get that population up. And I still need to work on happiness. Now we got to keep upgrading homes, I guess. Let's keep doing that. What does a tier 3 house look like? Oh, it only cost 7 stone to upgrade it one last time. Oh, those look nice. Wow, now this is starting to become like uh, Attack on Titan. All right, let's see. We got three minutes to go. We could add more troops to the army. Let's try to get ten more troops here. It's funny how it takes 15 to upgrade the house originally, and then seven to upgrade it to tier three. We got to keep upgrading, though. We got to get more people in the town. Oh, how come happiness is low? That's right. We can't really worry about happiness at the moment. We gotta raise that army. Try to solve it if we can. It takes 30 stone to add another worker to the stone quarry. That'd probably be worth it. Lots and lots of wood being gathered. Look at that, 2,000 wood. Would you believe that? Okay. Let's try to add ourselves another tower. Let's see. We can put archers in these towers. So let's start getting archers ready. Uh oh, that guy got attacked. Sorry, sir. Well, too bad we can't resurrect our people. All right. 
build some more decorations. Maybe that'll raise happiness. There we go. Add some nice decorations inside our kingdom. All right, how's the military going? We got to train more people. Enemy attack coming in one minute, 15 seconds. Little by little, we're getting there. I'm much better at this game the second time around. Now that we know where everything is, we can build a farm up there. So that'll solve any future food problems. Plus a, f a fish fishing thing there too. People are coming into town and immediately being trained to the military. The glorious military academy of Raptoria, of course. And of course we got people to resurrect. I guess we could shut the church down now. And we'll get them to become warriors. Or builders. We'll do resurrections tomorrow. Raptoria. Zero days since last resurrection. Absolutely. Go and quarry, decorations, military. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I found out too? We can add a frickin' trebuchet to the top of these towers. I didn't even know that. That's frickin' cool. And I want to do it more. But it costs 30, uh... 30 stone to do it a second time. But let's add trebuchets to these towers. And then we'll put archers on the walls. Oh good, they have to go through the uh, the wolf army first. Yeah, come down here, boys. Yeah, I get wrecked by my trebuchet. Alright, get him, boys. Yeah! Oh, collateral damage, Bob. Collateral damage. That must be a glitch. Oh, there it goes. Get wrecked, nerds! Hell yeah. That trebuchet is great. Okay. Let's get people working at the church again. Get that army resurrected. Oh, no. Don't get caught by the wolves, boys. Seems like the wolves ignore us in the morning. That's nice. We have a truce in the morning. All right, archery station needs to be built. Still got to keep bringing more people in. Our growth is stagnant now because everybody's going to the military. Uh, where are they attacking from next time? Uh, have they given up? I don't see any blue torches. Am I missing something? Oh, down here. Okay. Well, that's good news. They'll have to attack right through the wolves. Can we build the trebuchet? Oh, uh, yes. I'd like to build that. Oh, good. Perfect. All right. Next attack down there. So this trebuchet should be able to shoot at them, and we'll build one there, too. What if we could actually have stone walls eventually? The game is not complete, so it might be a thing in the future that they'll include at some point. Oh, dude, our kingdom is kicking ass. This is great. All right, population 13, 18. I need more. Nobody else being trained? Good. That means that everyone else can go towards uh, other jobs. All right, happiness not too bad. We're going to need more room for homes, though. Maybe we could squeeze a tavern in here. Or another house. Oh, we can barely fit a tavern inside. All right, two people ready to go.
All right, let's put these guys on to working at... Hmm. Maybe the market. There you go. Start selling some pelts. There we go. Let's see if we can build another marketplace somewhere. Anywhere would be great. Oh, the tavern. Get people to work at the tavern. Hopefully that generates some happiness or something. Oh, wow. Plus six. Hell yeah. We are good to go. All right, let's get the archers trained then. Oh, we need more money. Okay, let's get another person to work at the Sunstone Workshop. I've overstretched my military budget. No. Oh, I don't know where else there's Sunstone Mines. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll have to be careful. Luckily, we're, we're going back up. We're good. How are we doing on food? Perhaps we could do another farm? Oh, let's see. I want to do another bonus inside the town to make sure we can recoup workers quickly. Oh, there we go. We're going to take some losses here shortly. Tier 3 house. Beautiful. All right, sir, you work here. Somebody start selling some other stuff. Caviar. There we go. Mm -hmm. Caviar and pelts being sold. Good. All right. Now we need money to train these boys now. Well, we can rely on the wolves for a while. Luckily, we'll make some money from uh, the... The market shops are giving us 77 sunstone. So that's good. So let's build some more stuff in order to get more things on sale. And people will pay a high price for it. So let's do a field here. Something like that. And then a windmill. Nice. Then we should be able to build another uh, little trading depot. There we go. Little shops around the town. Fantastic. Boys, we are doing it. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. Okay, it takes 500 gold to build those. No wonder I run out of cash quickly. Enemy attacking in 2 minutes, 27 seconds. Boys, we're doing this. I need to see number ones i need to see a one spam down below in that comment section from everybody and don't forget to say hi so i can heart your comment too you guys have been amazing so far and i hope you've been enjoying this has seriously been our best run in this game so far and i can't wait to see what else happens population is maxed out again at 19 beautiful let's get our houses upgraded again tavern is definitely keeping people happy that's the building you want and if you need to add even more happiness add another level onto it Beautiful. Money's coming in. All right, let's hire some archers. And we will put the archers down here by the wall. We'll need to build an archery position for them. So let's upgrade the wall. And we need to build a ramp nearby so people can get up there. So right there will be our ramp. Squeezed in. There it is. All right, boys, get to it. Should be able to get to those walls, no problem. Oh, man. The keep is going to be unbreakable. Hell yeah, our kingdom is kicking ass. Archer's ready. Go up top. We have one minute remaining. I don't know if that's enough time to hire more people. Or to train more workers, I should say. So let's make sure all these businesses are good to go. We can add more if we need to. Ah, let's add people to the farm. We'll add one person to the farm and one person to the windmill. Perfect. Uh, we need homes upgraded again. Boom. Another tier three home. Hell yeah. Hopefully we can get more people going. And that means another trader position. So that means bread now or something that we can sell. Selling caviar. Uh, leather. And pretty soon, we'll sell some more stuff. Keep that happiness up. 
And of course, this brings in money for us too. Let's sell flour if you please. Thank you. All right, something for everybody here. Let's do another. Let me fit another one in. Oh, it's nighttime. No, come on. I was having fun building my city, you jerks. Oh boy, here comes the enemy. That's a lot of archers. Nope, fall back. Go, Trebuchet, go! Oh, they might take out our buildings. That's okay. No time for wolves, but we can get the archers. All right, run away, boys. Run away. Conserve your forces. Oh, get wrecked, enemy army. Get wrecked, dude. Hell yeah. That was great. And what, we, we lost a hunter's post for that? That was a, that was a fair trade. Hell yeah. Oh, they got to go through wolf territory directly. Oh, today's going to be a good day. Oh, we're getting lucky as hell. All right, let's go for Hunter's Hut again. And uh, all the doors are open. Everybody's getting back to work. Let's put that marketplace down. Oh, I know it fit here somewhere. Oh, come on, it fit yesterday. Maybe we get this little bush out of the way. Sorry, bush. Marketplace a little more important right now. Whoa, look at all the people. Holy crap. All right. All right, let's do some training. Oh, we're out of food. Oh, wait, why? Oh, no. Oh, this happens sometimes. This is a glitch. Where people, like, won't return to work. Oh, dude. No. Bro. All right, let me quick autosave. Let's see if that fixes it. Hold on. We'll load the autosave. 